and we're back everyone so if you didn't see my last two videos oh I'm so happy with 10.8 now in Hendersonville I'm doing great in Hendersonville and Asheville it did absolutely freaking terrible no and it makes me wonder if it has to do something with my camera on top is interfering with like the GPS somehow uh, and it's very possible that could be happening though I think if that's the case then Tesla absolutely needs to put some message on the screen saying GPS single um, not accurate or something performance may be degraded I don't know um, because I mean that is no different in a spot than if I had a roof rack with something on the roof of the roof rack. So it's unacceptable that me having a camera on the roof would cause such terrible issues. Because uh, the only way to haul anything with the car is on a roof rack if you want to use full self-driving. It's possible Onyx's head caused issues yesterday. Uh, sorry, I, accident I, I canceled that lane change by accident. It was going to get back over. Uh... It's streaking out, okay. Um, this might be a disengagement. Yep, you can't do that. Unfortunately, yeah, that's gonna be a disengagement. It tries to cross over the lanes in the middle of the intersection. You cannot do that. I mean, you can. You're not supposed to, and I'm not gonna let it do it. If anyone who does that, you're driving wrong, period. I was trying to stop for that stop sign. I think that would, I think that stop sign might be new, actually. Let's go ahead and press the camera button for that. That is the stop sign for the pedestrians on the greenway right there. Not for me. This is wrong. It needs to take this route. There's zero reason it should be going to this traffic light and not taking this route. I'm going to disengage it because the navigation is wrong. Zero reason it should waste time going to a traffic light when it can turn perfectly fine right here. Especially this time of year. Now this is a good case for why the B pillar is in a bad location. It can see this time of the year, but these weeds over here, um, it's actually totally fine right now. Okay. These weeds over here, uh, it cannot see in the summertime uh, until you creep really far out. And cars, unfortunately, travel really fast going down this road. Uh, okay, it braked really hard for that truck right there. So we are actually going to go in the lows. So this wasn't a disengagement. I just want to make sure it, it for some reason doesn't have this entrance on the map. Again, another mapping issue. But um, we're going to go in the lows and then going to hop over the Ollies and then we'll do the test and go back home from there. Hey everyone, we are back in Ollies. I didn't realize. Uh, I keep on forgetting it's New Year's Day. So I did not realize they're actually closed today. So we'll go tomorrow. Uh, probably won't record that one though. But um, what we're gonna do here, take a left. It tried to do, make a right turn, even though Nav said left. So that's cool. Uh, that has happened previously. Not sure what that. It's, it's not even off. It's, it's, it's correct. Try that again. In 500 feet, turn left onto Four Seasons Boulevard. Okay, so yeah, that, that was weird. This this coming out of Oli right here, it's always a really good test because it always does stupid stuff like that. I don't know why. Like, almost every time it does something stupid, either it tries to go into the curb, it tries to run into a car, it tries to do everything. This, this exiting out of that, it really isn't that hard. It's just the, the car has a really difficult time. I think it's only ever made that maybe once before, I think once or twice, a couple versions that has made that. But it seems to be always something really difficult for it. I'm not sure why it was turning on the right blinker. Um, 
Now turn left onto Four Seasons Boulevard. Again, my preference is to be in the right um, left turn lane because you have to be in the right lane to get onto the highway. In days with higher traffic than today, uh, it can be difficult to get over back into the right lane. And so I prefer just to stay in there. Even if it's just a little bit slower, I prefer to stay in the right lane. This is a better turn than some previous updates. Um, other updates did it just as well, but the last couple updates made that turn a little bit wide and kind of wanted to go into the other lane. So that was good. Okay, it does need to go ahead and get over in the right lane. I'm going to see what it does. There's a good chance this will cause a disengagement if we get a car beside of us. See, right now, this is exactly a perfect example of why I don't like being in this lane. We got two cars behind us. Three cars behind us. It needs to get over right now. Wow. That was one of the more aggressive lane changes I've ever had the car do. Like, it, like from your point of view, it doesn't look aggressive at all. But that car behind me was actually rather close. And it just cut in and got in. That's how I would drive. I would have accelerated a little bit more just to give a little bit more room to the car behind me. But otherwise, it did very well. I'm actually quite surprised it did that well, to be honest. So then now it needs to get, it needs to turn on the blinker now and go ahead and get over. And it didn't even turn the blinker on this time. Let's see if it can merge itself onto the highway. And we have it open and behind, as long as we stay behind this red truck. Okay, no, I don't, what? No, okay, that was a big no. That was a big no. Yeah, so not merging well, and I'm not sure what this truck is doing up here. Going into the rumble strip. Okay, so yeah, I did not <laughs> like that merge at all. Uh, I probably would have made it, and what I would have done is aggressively jammed on the brakes because my, it realized the last second, like, oh crap, we're too close to this truck. Why are we too close to this truck? just because of this semi truck is kicking up debris off the road. That was probably a mistake. So it got off the highway good there. It always seems to react differently when it has a follow car. So I'm curious if it's going to react any differently down here. It seems to be slowing very well, so that's good. It's good to go. Waiting for cross traffic. There is none. So I tapped the accelerator to get it to go. I'm actually going to hold the accelerator because it goes to 35, drops to 25, goes to 30, drops back to 25. And it's a 45 mile an hour road. So there's no reason it should be doing any of that. It should go straight to 45 mile an hour. Hey everyone, I think my uh, phone cut out the very end of this clip, but this is the very end of the video. I hope you all enjoyed this. Uh, a couple nice things to see in here. And if you made it this far, as always, I really appreciate you watching. And I hope to see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.